Hey, boa buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for the featured members speed round. So what does that mean? So I have members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and I feature their Bolo items and I typically feature them in a video, but this one is going to be a bonus video. It's going to be a speed round. So I am going to go through 43 big money Bolos pretty quick. We are going to just move right along. I am going to tell you who sold it and where they got it and what they paid for it. Those links to the featured members will be down in the description of the video. So if you want to check out their YouTube channels or their eBay stores, definitely go down there and subscribe to them. A lot of them have reseller content. Some of them have really awesome eBay stores. So we are going to get right into these 43 big money bolos. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. All right. I forgot to pull up my screen share just a second here. Let me get this screen share up. Sorry, guys. Forgot what I was doing here, right? All right. So the first item is this Dan Burry Mint Santa. And let me make sure that connected since I did it wrong. All right. So this is um, Franklin Mint, Dan Burry Mint, a lot of the mints are a be on the lookout. So if you ever see that, definitely look it up. Let me see. Um, I was looking for a photo of the bottom, but I don't see it. But here is um, the certificate of ownership. And typically on the bottom, it will have a marking. I thought I just saw it. This one might be like on the side. I'm sure it says Danbury Mint somewhere. Um, but she got this at a thrift store for $50 and flipped it on eBay for $300, you guys. So definitely a very, very cool bolo. This comes from eBay store, a friendly flea. The next item are these Lennox porcelain cream and green gold trim fruit bowl set. It's a set of eight. Here's what the bottom looks like. Um, Lennox is hit and miss in my opinion some of it's bread and butter and some of it's big money these eight bowls sold for full asking price of 149 dollars and 99 cents um, a lot of times if you can identify the pattern and put that in your title that's going to help somebody find it they got this at an estate sale and they paid 24 dollars for it and it looks like the buyer paid shipping the next item is this bopsy twins book set of 23 and I'm sorry, I forgot. I got to tell you guys, this was sold by Toledo Antique and they have a YouTube channel. So check them out. Okay. This one was sold by the Philly Flipper and it's the Bopsy Twins books, lot of 23 from the 1930s to the 1960s, you guys. Um, very, very cool. He got these on high bid. So that's an auction site for $8 and he flipped them for 70. And you can see like some of the conditions are not that great, but they still sold for a really great profit. The next item comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And I absolutely love this one because I have sold these before. Um, I actually picked mine up at an estate sale and it's a, an estate sale that really does all their research. So when I found these, I didn't really know what I had. I just thought they looked really cool. And I got home and I comped them out and I could not believe it. So when I see this, I think of that story. And it was just such a highlight of um, finding something so big money at an estate sale that usually is, you know, priced kind of high. So she got these for 25 cents each. She was at an estate sale and the whole box was $10. So she had a whole bunch of different lots and all of them were bolos. But um, she sold this for $74.99. Now, basically what this is, it's Bucilla and their patterns and people make these, but these have already been made. So in the title, you can put completed um, or down in the description so that they know that the item has already been made. And $74.99 on that. What do you guys think? Very cool, right? Love that one. This one comes from Be Carried Away. It is vintage 1995 Zymel Natural Cream Auto Polish. New in the package, car show detailing. And you can see right here, she shows that it, you know, it's not filled to the top. But um, I don't know if it like evaporates over time. It is pretty old. But uh, 
She got this at the Salvation Army for $2.99 and sold it for a best offer of $55.95. The next item is this rare Mara Love Bus VW style coffee mugs, uh, uh, Route 66, and it's Mexican handmade pottery. There will be markings on the bottom. I'm trying to get eBay to show me here. That might be it. So they might not have a photo of the bottom. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. I'm guessing if they would have been marked, they probably would have showed a photo. This one comes from Reselling with Honey, and she got these for $2.50 each at an estate sale, and they sold for $49.99. The next item are these rare vintage 1982 Walt Disney Epcot Center Lot of Two Figment Patches. Um, so Figment is what this dragon's name is. From what I understand, I've I've listed these before and I actually did a short on a little plush that I sold with a broken eye. Crazy. That's over on my uh, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channels. Um, this one comes from It's All Goods and I did not hear back from her on where she got it or what she paid for it. Um, I messaged her on Instagram and I gave her a couple days, but she's not on Instagram a lot. So I don't have the information for you, but these sold for $45.99 plus shipping. The next item is this photograph, you guys. RPPC Harry Railroad Jack Cooper 1900s Hobo and History Expert from Michigan. So that is his title. And he got this in a Facebook bulk buy and he bought a whole bunch. So he's got about five cents in this. He ended up taking a best offer of $60 for this photo. And this one comes from Lombard Lombardi Limited eBay store. The next item comes from the Thrifty Broad, and she sells a lot over on Poshmark. So you can follow her on, follow her on Poshmark as uh, it's Bandy's Closet on Poshmark, and it's the Thrifty Broad on YouTube. And it's a Beyond Threads Women's Alpaca Wool Blend Cardigan, and she sold this for $75. She picked it up at the bins, and at the bins you buy by weight. So it, var it varies depending on which bins you're at, how much. But she said she had approximately around a dollar in this. The next item comes from Jack's Treasures. This is a vintage Garfield Jim Davis comforter quilt bedspread. It sold for $64. And they got it out of a storage unit and had pennies in it. So uh, Jack's Treasures does a lot of storage unit stuff. American Lifestyle is the brand there, you guys. So I think probably what sold this one is that it is vintage Garfield. The next item comes from Butterfly Hustles, and I actually learned about straw hats from Butterfly Hustles, so I wanted to feature this one because she is a bolo finder of straw hats. I'm telling you, she finds them all the time. This one is by Biltmore. She got this at Value Village for $2.50, and it sold for $68.50. The next item comes from Anytime Picker, and I just think this is hilarious. Um, I saw it, and I'm like, yes, this is the one I'm sharing. It is called Pass the Booger, you guys. It's a vintage board game by Art Productions from 1991, and he got this at a house clean-out, so pretty much labor, and it sold for $49 plus shipping. Have you ever heard of the game Pass the Booger? The next item comes from Vintage Barbie. And she sold this Ken outfit for $28.57. So a lot of the um, Barbie clothing can be big money, you guys. If you can find the outfits and you can, they all have like a number. The older ones have a number, like this is number 786. And this is called Saturday Date. So if you can figure out what it's called and that number and put it in your title, that is definitely going to help you sell the item. Uh, the Barbie clothing can range from bread and butter to big money, depending on condition and how sought after or hard to find the item is. And she got, she's a collector of Barbie items and other things. So basically what she does is she buys stuff like in lots and then she sells off what she doesn't want and keeps what she does want. The next item was sold by Restored Glory, Donna. And this is her Etsy shop here, Restored Glory. And this is a Jim Shore um, Blinken and Nod one night sailed off in a wooden shoe. It's by Ensco from 2006. 
And you guys, if you don't know, Jim Shore sells really good. And for me, my experience has been that it sells quick. It does range from bread and butter to big money, but it's usually a quick sale. She sold this in one day for $29 and she got it at a thrift store for $4.99. The next item comes from Money Making Mama. It's a DVD set that she picked up at the Goodwill for $2. This sold for $49.99. It is a boy, it's Boy Meets World, the complete collection DVD series from 2013, one through seven, brand new. So really good find there. The next item are these vintage American optical round safety goggle glasses. They are steampunk motorcycle shop. So great keywords. This one comes from eBay store electric garage sale. He got this at an estate clean out. So labor. And he's, let's see, it sold him for $39.95, full asking price plus shipping. The next item comes from Donatella Bottolino. And I actually saw the video where she found these. So she went dumpster diving and these were in a big trash bag inside a dumpster. I can't remember if it was like Walgreens or CVS or something like that, but those places are known to throw away candy like at the end of the season. I'm guessing this was like Halloween and I don't know. I don't understand it. I would think that these items would get donated, but they get tossed. Um, there's another channel that does this and she gets the stuff out of the trash, out of the bags. I mean, they're in bags, they're protected. And she takes it and donates it at different places. And I'm just drew a blank. Um, just Me Kathy is her channel. And you guys, she has dumpster diving videos. Just Me Kathy, check her out. It's amazing. But um, she donates tons of stuff to people in need. So it's really, really cool. But um, Donatella has been doing some dumpster diving on her channel as well. So definitely check it out for that. But she does selling events mostly. So, um, okay. So what did she get? These? She got these for free and she sold them for $25 with free shipping. But these sold fast. So uh, they're sour cherry candy. The next item is this Lynn Chase Jungle Jubilee 2006 hand-painted dinner plate. It's 11 inches. It's a, a parrot money banana. I don't know why it says money. Anyway, this one came from Gail's New and Vintage. She got this from a friend and she got four of them, you guys. And in total, she has sold all four for $279.96. So very, very cool. And I really like it when people use um, a plate stand to display plates. So that looks really, really good. Okay, the next item was sold by Franklin Ventures, and he sold this over on Mercari. I love this one. Um, it's Gorham Sesame Street Muppets Flatware. So it's basically a kid's flatware set. And it looks like they're from Japan. And he got these at a yard sale for $2 and he sold them for $70. The next item comes from I Refunk Your Junk. And here is her Etsy store right here. And this is a greenhouse, a guide to indoor gardening, houseplant garden library reference. Super cool item. Picked it up at a state sale for $2 and flipped it for $40. So would you have thought to pick that up or would you have walked right by it? The next item comes from um, the Rebel Reseller. It is a dinosaur, you guys. It's a Jurassic World grab and growl, Indoraptor, dinosaur figure, park, lights, and sound. So she got this at a consignment sale and $5.00. And sold it for $89.96 plus shipping. So these ones that like grab and growl and do things, they can definitely go for more money. The next item I absolutely love. And you probably saw it on my thumbnail. And that might be why you're here. These vintage crayons, you guys, they're from 1990. They're new and they're sealed. Made in the USA. 72 of them in there. She got from her mom's estate. So um, this is Antiques by Karen Janet. That's her YouTube channel. And in her channel, she talks about all this stuff that she got from her mom's estate. Um, her mom left her the estate and her mom was into antiques and vintage for like 35 years, had like an antique store. So really, really cool if you want to go follow that story. But yeah, they sold for $85, you guys. How cool. The next item, set of six vintage Vera 
MCM cloth napkins, 18 by 18, yellow fruit, blue flowers. I feel like these are things that we probably see and that we walk past. Um, she got these at an auction for $2 and took a best offer of $26 plus shipping. Like at estate sales, even thrift stores. This stuff is usually pretty cheap. The next item comes from Flippin' Palettes. Um, these are silver jeans and they got them at a thrift store for $5.85 and sold them for 50 plus shipping. And it's unbelievable that they got them that cheap at a thrift store. Um, and they're new with tags. Silver typically does pretty well. Um, I'm not into clothing anymore, but I've heard other YouTube channels talk about that brand. The next item is this Furby. This one comes from Got Chunk. Got, got junk in our trunk. Um, she got it at a yard sale for $2, took a best offer of 28. You guys, there's different years that Furbies were made. Some of them are bread and butter, but some of them can be big money. So definitely um, look them up if you see them. If it's not working when you try to turn it on, they sometimes get stuck in sleep mode and you can go to YouTube and watch videos about how to wake them up. So just FYI. <laughs> I've had a few that were sleeping. The next item really surprised me. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, it's just a big, heavy coat. And let me uh, show you here. This is what it looks like. And this one came out of a little bluebird's money pile. So it's been sitting and sitting and sitting. And she finally listed it. And it sold really quick. She got it at the bins for around $5. So very, very cool. And it's Abercrombie and Fitch. So, I mean, I don't know. I didn't think that um, Abercrombie and Fitch, I, I thought it was kind of fizzling. You guys let me know if you sell clothing, if you, do if you still do well with Abercrombie and Fitch. Let me know in the comments. This one came from Flippin' It Good, and he's the retail arbitrage guy of memberships. He goes out and sources at like Burlington and Ross and stuff like that. But this item, he actually picked up on a YouTube auction. It was Big Barn Company, and he did pay up for this. He, he paid $40 for it, and he sold it for $110. So it is a vintage single-stitch Wizard of Oz um, postage stamp t-shirt. The next item is um, from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. And this is a J. Crew necklace. It is a statement necklace. Um, I have sold some J. Crew for big money as well. Uh, J. Crew is one of those where if it's like an older style or discontinued and it's really well made and heavy, some of it can go for good money. She got this at a vintage store for $20 and sold it for $89.99. The next item I just love. It's a 1991 Sears wish book. You guys, it's a catalog. But what she did do is she went in and she found like this Nintendo, like different things that had like nostalgic feeling to them and put them in the title, which was really, really smart. Um, Yard Sales and Dreams is her YouTube channel. She's got great tips, great um, channel content. She's a bolo finder, but tips and tricks like putting um, this in your title to help sell the item. That's fantastic. So go check her out. She got this at a yard sale for a dollar and it sold for $38.50. The next item is this dandy cow. It's a large stuffed plush animal. And this is what the tag looks like. And this came from Queen of Hearts Charnel. And she got this at a thrift store for $1 and flipped it for $31.33 plus shipping. The next item, you guys, do you not see these all the time and walk past them? I mean, it looks like just an old, cheap little toy, right? So this is by Cuddlewit. It's from 1986. And she said she picked this up because of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So um, she got it at the Goodwill for a dollar and one cent. And it sold for $29.99. So super, super cute. I've never heard of this brand, but I don't know. Who knows what sold it? But very, very cool. The next item is this vintage Nutcracker Advent Calendar. And this one comes, oh, I'm sorry. This one came from the Thrifty Nichols. This one comes from Nikki Love Snacks. It's an advent calendar, you guys. She got it at a local charity shop for $6.99 and she sold it for $45. And it's got the little people. Um, it looks like maybe some of the people might be missing. Um, 
22 of the 24. So two of them are missing and it still sold for $45. I'm bet betting if that was complete, it would have went for probably closer to 100. Those old vintage advent calendars, people love them. The next item is this uh, Tommy Bahama men's shirt. And if you can find the ones that are embroidered, those tend to go for more money. This one came from Gigi's Gold Mine eBay store, sold it for $64.95 and got it in a lot of $40 for eight shirts at a garage sale. So um, about $5 each. So really, really cool. Great profit margins. The next item comes from, uh-oh. Yeah, that's right. Um, Mutton Ridge Finds. And this is 130 little mini figures, you guys. Retail for this was $19.99. So this is old. And she got this out of a mystery box from Auctions For You. And you guys have heard me say, I buy stuff from Auctions For You all the time. And I actually have an unboxing I just did, and I have another one coming soon. So she got this out of a $100 mystery box, and this sold for a best offer of $50. So she paid $100 for the box. There was a bunch of other stuff in it. This one item sold for $50. So if you are in search of inventory, check out Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino. They are linked down below. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller, and this is from our Ben's Six Challenge. So Carissa... <clears throat> Sorry, I should have brought down a water. Chris, a chosen goods reseller, and Brendan over at Dad Planet, and I did a Ben's Six Challenge. So what we did is it was like a scavenger hunt. So if you type hashtag Ben Six into the YouTube search bar, it'll pull up all three videos. But you can go check that out. But she had about a dollar twenty-one in these, and these sold for fourteen dollars and eighty-two cents plus shipping, and um. Burton can typically have a pretty good sell-through rate depending on what it is, but uh, definitely look them up if you see them. The next item that sold, I did not get the information on. I sent it to her as a backup from another one that um, was returned and I didn't get the info, but how cool are these? You guys, things that are cobalt blue like this tend to sell for a decent amount. These sold for $73.08 plus shipping, but I'm not sure where she got it or what she paid for it, but still a cool bolo. That one comes from One Stop Shop 59 eBay store. The next item are these Gumps Pansy Tree Ornaments, and they are blown glass. Wandering Creek Antiques sold this, and she picked them up for a dollar on it at an auction, and she sold these for $49 free shipping. So, um, Maybe that was a typo. Maybe it was 42. I may have wrote down the wrong thing. So we'll go with 42 to be safe. The next item came from Auctions for You. And she bought out a vintage store, toy store, and then toy um, storage units. And a lot of those items were vintage too. So she has just been going crazy buying these um, toy huge wholesale lots and then bringing them to auction for people to buy. Um, her husband does help her out, so he lists stuff on eBay as well. And this sold for $39.99, and the buyer paid shipping. It is a vintage ideal 1964 crazy clock game, 100% complete. So I bet that was fun to put together and make sure it was all there. The next item was sold by Mindful Recycle, and this is an Egyptian figurine, um, like a sculpture. It's 11 inches. She got this in a state sale for 30. She actually bought 10 of them for 30 each. And this one alone sold for $260 plus shipping. And that was an auction, you guys. Next one comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop um, on eBay. And her store is amazing. She got this at an estate sale for $30 and sold it for $160. It's Nicole Sayer, Black Cat Ride Witch on Back, Halloween figurine retired. Just amazing. Let's see if we can find, um, that's what it says on the bottom. So very, very cool. The next item comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313. This is a vintage 1956 renewal dollhouse nursery hospital playset, baby's crib and sponge bath. 
So really, really cool. I always pick up um, dollhouse stuff. So this one really caught my eye, but I love how each one is um, marked with a name. And, you know, I almost bet she could have sold these individually because of that, but it would have taken longer to sell. So she got this at a, an estate sale for $50 for a huge lot. And she's parted it out and made over $500 on this. This one sold for 37 plus shipping. The next item comes from the Cha-Ching King, and he is a major bolo finder. Vintage Jose Maria de Servan. I don't know. I probably said all that wrong. Oil on burlap painting, child with toy horse, listed artist. You guys, he got this at an estate clean out. He bought the, the rest of the estate for $600, you guys, uh, for everything that he cleaned out. And... He had about $10 in this when he broke it down, and this sold for a best offer of $349 plus shipping. So it looks like a piece of burlap, you guys, that's been painted, literally. How amazing is that? And the last item comes from 1987 Ventures Tracy. This is a Beatles Let It Be VHS. You guys, this is not sealed. This is open. Um, but I love how she did her first photo showing both items. She got this at family thrift for 25 cents and sold it for $119 and 87 cents plus shipping. All right, you guys. So head on down to the description of the video, sub up these Bolo Finder channels. My internet looks like it's, uh, okay. It's back. Sorry if I glitched there for a minute. Um, check out these channels, you guys, they're Bolo finders. They have amazing eBay stores. They are all linked down below. So be sure to subscribe. And if you're not subscribed to me, be sure to hit that subscribe, hit that like, be sure to comment and share if you know somebody that this could help. And as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next one.